Hello, we're going to talk about more about sharpening axes. And if you look at down here, I've got something very cool design here. This is why in my benches I've got wood sticking out like this. And I've got this and this. Here happened. I've got wood here, here. They're all for different reasons. For example, I use them for other reasons. This is one reason that I use these for. For example, I've got a jig clamp here that, that, that um, keeps this wood here when I want to use that. Okay? And I put the axe this way along here in the angle here, in the, in, in the corner there, and put a piece of wood here to hold it. Now this is steady. It just moves a little bit. But when you're putting the force down, it doesn't move at all. Okay? Because the force is not going to go up when it moves a little bit. It's going to go down. So you come in here and you just, it's like having an extra pair of hands. In the previous video, I said to you that I like using the sandpaper, but that, but that is when I haven't got this method and I'm using my hands. But in this case, I prefer the file. So you might come here and just sharpen it. And here you've got extra pair of hands here, okay, holding it, this in place. While you are here, you've got to be very cautious that you've got this very good secure so it doesn't fall on your feet, okay. You've got to keep on testing it from time to time to make sure this is not loosened. Because the vibration of this you can loosen these, okay, these G clamps. So every minute or so you may check them, okay. Okay, so you come in here, you come in here, so you just sharpen it like this, going with the angle, okay. So we, we try to use the whole file if we can. Sometimes we might just use like parts of it, a little bit. But most of the time we should be using the whole file. Okay, coming in here. Okay, and we do that until it's razor sharp on that side. It's just about that there, there now. Okay, so I'll show you how this thing works. You've got to be careful, you don't drop everything. You loosen it a little bit, just a little bit, just a little bit, and grab onto that. Okay, okay, then you take that off. This is already stuck on there. We do the other side now. Okay, we bring it in here. Okay, and we attach this here and this around here to lock that in place. Or we might use a smaller one on that side. So then it can grip on that is if it fits. I'm not sure if it will fit. I haven't tried that with um, bingo, it does fit. And that locks it in here with the um, thing is and it keeps this here. Although this can come off one way, maybe perhaps sometimes it does, like this way. See? In in, in, in this in this position, but it won't come down. You see, no matter if you put pressure this way, it won't come down and, and, and what you're finding is you're finding downwards here so it's all right do it that way so when you want to take it off you just take it off this way see because you'll come up up will come off but down down it will not come off okay or in the position that is there now so you just come this way you come here and you might test it because this is uh, Jesus showed me this so we pray how to do this remember he was a carpenter and he knew a lot about the old methods of course this is a new type of Jesus but it's the same principle come here like this we we gotta try something. I haven't tried this before. We're gonna try if it works on the other side. And it does. It does. We can have it this side. 
okay we've got the camera man you'll see it this way see it's not going to fall down that way but you'll come up that way okay so we come here we just come in here and do it this way you can do it this way as well if you want or you can do this side um, yeah, the like way I showed you before and I come here come this way you just gotta be alert and aware of everything and make sure the axe doesn't go bang you know if it does it's going to drop in there so it's not not a big deal but um you don't want to damage your your, your axe make sure it doesn't fall on your feet it's not it's very almost impossible to fall on your feet but not impossible so you've got to be alert and aware of what they're doing anything in the woodwork area there's you know there's, there's risk taken but if you um, secure the ground there's no risk at all like it's never gonna fall i can catch this i can you know i can you know i put a lot of pressure here and it's not falling okay so as long as it's secured here and there and you secure it properly if you don't secure it proper, properly it may fall but here it is secured we test this now we tied it because the vibrations kept loosening it okay okay this one's pretty tight okay and continue sharpening now this should be raised a sharpening I'm, I'm sharpening it a lot before the, the video and just showing you the finished job now which is sharp okay that should be raised a sharp now and it is okay okay thank you for for listening and watching and take care god be with you all